Hello and welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host, Jason Robbins, and we have a great show for you today. We have Richmond Community Theater with us. Tyler Blish is the Assistant Director of the Adams Family Musical. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, all right, so what sort of person is going to love this show? I believe everybody's going to love this show. It's a great comedy, lots of laughs, lots of loves, and definitely some nostalgia will be coming. Well, I mean, everyone loves the Adams Family, so Absolutely. I would think everyone would, uh, would enjoy this show. What's challenging about bringing this script to life? Definitely taking a, such a comic book-like character and portraying it as a normal person would. I believe that is definitely one of the hardest takes on bringing someone that uh, is abnormal into normality. So you have all, because uh, you have all these classic characters like uh, uh, Cousin It and uh, Lurch and uh, Uncle Fester. They're so unique, it, I mean, in TV and movies in general. And every, gener every generation has their own version because, you know, the original, you have the original TV series and then you have um, the 1990s movies that I grew up on. Right even they had a cartoon, and then you have the animated movies that came out recently. So mm -hmm. how, how do you manage those kind of expectations when you just try to have fun with it? Really just bringing our A-game. These characters are much older, so it's taking on a new light that we would average, that we would see averagely with these Adams Family characters. So, and also having fun with it, making sure that we make this audience laugh and have fun with it, so. Yeah, I, it's it's definitely a challenge, but it's it's uh, a great show. All right, um, why did you want to be involved in this production? Uh, definitely being the assistant director, it's my first uh, being part of the RCT uh, behind stage with such an important role, and also Brian is such a great director, and working with him, uh, it's it's just been a blast. So, um, who should not come see this show? I think everybody should see this show. It's, it's such a great laugher of all ages, and um, really I can't see why someone would not sing the, the nostalgic of the show. It's fantastic. All right. Um, what, uh, what will the audience be thinking about in the car as they drive home after the show? Definitely just uh, how much they had fun with the show, uh, really connecting with some of the characters, and having lots of laughs and loves that comes along with these characters. It's really great. Because it's always funny. Uh, it's always funny for me with, with the Adams Family because you have uh, very much the dark macabre, but it's a very loving, very supportive family. Absolutely. So you have these two things that, uh, that shouldn't go together, but they do. Right. Peanut butter and chocolate very much. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so uh, how, how is this uh, production bringing something new to the story? Definitely when it comes to uh, the stage that we have, it's very small, it's very limited, but uh, me and Brian have definitely uh, knocked heads together and to create such a great show with how much we have. Mm -hmm. So um, what's going, uh, who in the show is most like their character? Definitely our actor Josh. He does a fantastic job with Fester. He is so loving and he really cares about what he does and you can really see that during the show. Can he put a light bulb when he puts it in his mouth? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we're definitely going to see that. I cannot promise nor deny anything. That is a good, that is good to have. Keeps <laughs> the suspense going. Um, who's the least like their character? Probably Pugsley. Uh, Isabella Cracciolo. She's uh, such a loving person and she cares for everyone and Pugsley is definitely a lot more uh, crazy and devious and he can really bring out the show and uh, Isabella does bring out the show however she is definitely a lot more uh, nice and caring about everybody. <laughs> I'm sure she. Uh, I'm sure she's having a lot of fun with that one. Absolutely, she's having a great time. <laughs> uh, without giving anything away, what's your favorite line of dialogue? A lot of funny dialogue comes into the show, and um, fortunately, I can't say them all. But one does stand out. It comes from Fester, and he says, "I mean, is this any way to end an act? Actually, yes." And it's. I really wish I could put it into context, but it is such an amazing line. Well, such amazing. I'm just gonna have to go see it in order to get the context. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so when uh, when are you having? Uh, when is Richmond Community Theater having the show? It's the first two weekends of March, and the show starts at eight o'clock. 
All right. Uh, and then the Sunday shows have a different time? Matinee at 2 o'clock. Okay. And tickets are 20 bucks for adults, right? Yes. And, and 15 for students and seniors. Do they have to show, uh, do students have to show ID, uh, student ID to uh, get the price? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Always have to. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, just come see the show. It's a fantastic show, and we can't wait to see you. All right. So uh, thanks for joining me, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Not a problem. You can catch the Adams Family Musical on March uh, 4th, 5th at 8 p.m., the 6th at 2 p.m., and then again on 11th and 12th at 8 p.m., and the 13th at 2 p.m. Make sure you get there a half hour early when doors open. Uh, tickets are available at the door or online on Richmond Community Theater's website. Uh, tickets are $20 for adults, $15 for students and seniors. You can, catch, uh, you can catch Richmond TV on Channel 6 if you live within the city of Richmond area. And you can also uh, check us out on YouTube. We have regular things posted. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you can find all links to all uh, Richmond Community Theater stuff in the description below. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.